Oh, that's a heavy fish. That fish is heavy. Oh my god. What is that? Oh my god. We honestly couldn't have asked for a better day out here. It's super flat. Looks like the gulf is nice and calm for us. So it should be a smooth ride. We've got a south wind of five to ten miles per hour all day long and uh, the seas are going to be one foot or less so <laughs> I think God's looking out for us so we're just going to get out here and see what we can do let's go yeah there's something on there there's stuck with something on that one all right we're going to kick it down to neutral I'm pretty sure we got something on this rod right here it's it's too small to pull drag so uh i saw that rod kind of bow over let me see it might be a, sp a spanish or a small king but i saw it kind of i saw it kind of thump a couple times as if something was on there that rod shouldn't be bowed over like that especially with this little bit yeah we got something it looks like uh, Bonita. Okay. All right. All right. First fish on the sea fox comes as a Bonita. Cool. Get him unhooked. Actually, he just unhooked himself grab him so these guys die pretty quick this is a false albacore also known as a bonita uh, baby tony if you will um, they're not good as far as table fare goes you guys have seen me catch them on the channel before they're in the tuna family really fast really fun to fight um, but um, we're not going to keep him we're just going to let him go so let's let him go before he messes up our navalis shirt there he goes Super fast fish, fun to catch. And, uh, hey, first fish of the day. Uh, guys, if you haven't noticed, I'm wearing Navalis's apparel today, and I am sponsored by them now. So, if you guys want, go over and check out Navalis Apparel, get some of their nice clothes. Their clothes are 100% bamboo, and it's honestly, honestly, some of the most comfortable stuff I've ever put on my body. The clothing is very, very comfortable, and it keeps you cool. So uh, head on over to Navalis, get you some apparel, and uh, let's get back to fishing. Let's go. Try some vertical jigging. It seems a little too difficult to hold on the coordinates because we got a little bit of wind as well as uh, the current is also pulling us away. So we're just gonna drop this vertical jig down, see if we can't get something off of it. Lots of fish down there. Yes, 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 yes. What do we got? Finally got hooked up. Oh man, the vertical jig for the wind. I just tied it on. Seems to be a pretty good fish. Fighting kind of like a red snapper. I see color already. 
can see color. Can't tell what it is just yet. Looks like a little amberjack. Yeah, it's gonna be a little amberjack. See if we can't flip him in. Yep, there we go. Man, and these guys are gonna be out of season. There we go. There's our vertical jig. Got it done really quick. That's a Shimano 130 gram or 4.6 ounce jig. Toss that right over the side and uh, let's get this guy back in the water. There we go guys, a nice little amberjack. Put up a pretty good fight. Let's let him go. There he goes, back down to the bottom. All right guys, we're back over structure. Let's get this guy unhooked and then drop him down. Looks like there's a lot of fish down there. Oh yeah, nice wreckage too. So this is a series of, of different artificial reefs that I'm pulling up over and you can just bounce from one to the other and drop down and hope whatever you come up with. So right now I'm dropping down this vertical jig. We're in, we're in 82 foot of water. Want to try and let that guy hit the bottom Maybe see if I can get a snapper or a group or something that's a keeper. And I'm gonna just jig him kind of soft here. Not gonna jig him too aggressively down bottom. That'll give those grouper a little bit of time to get to it. And then we'll get an amberjack, amberjack range just like that. Oh, that fish pulled. He pulled. Whatever he was. We ain't letting that one get away. That's a good one. That is a good one. That is a good one. He's a smoker. Woo, that's a good one, dude. Whoa. Whoa. Dang, dude. Whoo, let's try and get some line back. Oh, he broke me off. No! What was that? Oh my. Mm. Broke me off in the wreckage, I guess. Dang it, dude. That was my only vertical jig. Ah. Oh. Jeez. Okay, I know what I got. I got some other stuff I can use. I, know, I got some other stuff I can use. I sure do. It's time to bust them out too. Couple of NLBNs. Or we can go with the big hoagie that we were fishing with earlier. Huh, they do not want this. They don't want it, and it's clear. <sighs> okay, they don't want an NLBN. I thought I bought. I thought I bought a vertical jig. I did, 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 I did. Okay, this one's a lot smaller. I did buy one. Dang, these things are expensive. That hurt when I lost that first one. Okay, I got another one. I got another one. It's smaller, it's not gonna be same weight but it is a vertical jig it's got one hook 
Let's see if this sets them off again. That's crazy. I, I just remembered that I bought another one. So that one that I was using was an older one. And this one is brand spanking new. So let's tie them on. I'm just going to go with a regular uni knot. All right, we got another vertical jig. This is a lot smaller one, probably about half the size, but it should get the job done. It should get the job done. I'm confident in it. Look at all the fish down on this number. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, we're on bottom. There he is. Ooh. Ooh. He knocked slack in the line. I knew he had it. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh he's going, come on man, come on, come on, no, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here, Baby, come here. I see color. There we go. Looking like another amberjack. Something swimming next to him. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Another amberjack. Get his head up. Ooh. See if I can get him. There we go, baby. Another amberjack. Woo! Another amberjack. That one's a little bit bigger. Let's get our pliers, get him unhooked. There we go. Another nice amberjack. This one's a little bit bigger. Put up a dang good fight. And these guys are out of season, so we cannot keep them. I'm gonna take a picture of him just to show my girlfriend that I catch fish when I come out. All right, let's let this big guy go. He's not huge, but he's a good fight. Probably about 26 inches, 27, 28. And there he goes. Let's get back over to the spot. Man, this is fun. Definitely gotta buy more of these jigs. When they just won't eat live bait, drop down with a artificial or a vertical jig. Just, all you're doing is making them mad. They see that thing fluttering in their face and they want to know what it is. They want to know what it is. And so whenever you jig it up and down and it seems like they can't catch it, all they want to do is catch it. That's all they want to do. Lots of suspended fish on this number. And I mean lots. And they're as deep as 20 foot under the boat. Twenty foot. Wonder if they'd be up on a popper. Oh. 
Oh, oh. That's a heavy fish. That fish is heavy. That fish is heavy. And he's not fighting. Oh my God. That's a heavy fish, dude. What is that? Oh my God. Dude, what is that? Sometimes when you hook these fish, they feel a lot bigger than they are. That guy's got almost like some red to him. I'm gonna get him back because he's bleeding. That fish felt huge, man. He wasn't moving. I was trying to bring him up and he just wasn't moving. Then he started fighting. Kind of scared me. Thought I might've had a big king or something. Woo! Leader's still good, everything's still good. House real big, car real big. Let me tell you how I live. Let's drop back down on a different set of numbers. I just threw a nice bait wad out. All of my bait has died. I uh, turned the aerator off because Nothing was eating those baits and it just wasn't worth trying to keep dropping them down and nothing eating them. So I decided to use them for chum. Oh, oh there's a fish. Ah, oh my goodness. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Good gracious, dude. Oh my goodness. Dang. He took me into the wreck. That fish was a freaking torpedo. Good gracious. Holy crap. Oh yeah, look at that line. Shredded it all to pieces. That fish was a torpedo. Man. Well, that's definitely gonna do it for vertical jigging. That fish right there was, you couldn't stop it. Either I caught a small amberjack and a shark got him, or that fish just wasn't having it today. So let me see who's calling me. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh man. These fish are brutal. What in the world, dude? Look at this. Oh. Oh. Good God. Come on, dude. Oh my goodness. On the hair jig. Oh my goodness. Dang it. Dang. Oh. Oh my goodness. Whoo. 
<sighs> Between the heat and these fish putting a whooping on me, whew, I don't know which one's worse. Man. Maybe a shark came and got that one. We're clean cut right at our leader. What well, somewhat of a clean cut. Not a whole lot of fray. And then you got teeth marks right there. Man. And I'm using 50 pound fluorocarbon Yozuri leader. And this stuff is not, you can't just chew through this stuff. So it's gotta be some good fish down there as well as some good sharks, some big sharks. We are definitely gonna have to visit the bait and tackle shop after this trip we have lost lures upon lures and i'm about to make a rookie mistake right here and drop this guy down with the little bar protector on there <laughs> that last hair jig that got hit man the hit was so fierce I was not ready for it. <laughs> 